Good morning, friends, and welcome to my garden. My name's Alana, if we haven't met before. Um, today, we really need to get some things harvested. I don't know if it's really gonna be a big harvest, but there are some things that are past due. Um, so we're just gonna see what we can get out of the garden. Uh, I do have my little garden helper out here with me, so we'll see how that goes. Yeah, some things have been a little bit neglected just because uh, for those that you don't know, I do work a regular week job, so I can't harvest things necessarily throughout the week. And it got hot. It is like in the high 90s. Um, so some things started ripening really fast. So we're going to go out and see what, see what we can do um, and what we can get out. And it's already... It's already 80 degrees and it's it's not even 10 30 in the morning so come along with me and we'll see what we can get all right we're gonna start somewhere simple which are these carrots because i have plans for putting stuff here so the carrots aren't really that big but i kind of want them out of the way yeah. so tiny little carrot and then i'm hoping these two over here are going to be a little bit better all right not much of a difference there but We've got three carrots. We got three little carrots that this little one might try to eat. These strawberries are definitely not ready to harvest, but they're in their first year. So I'm actually gonna come in here and you see these little flowers. I'm just gonna pinch them off. So it's not really a harvest unless you consider enjoying pretty little strawberry flowers a harvest. Here we go. Just a couple strawberry flowers. Grab some tomatoes next. These are all Romas that are ready right now. Over here on the patio, we have a couple more cherry tomatoes that are just growing in this little tiny pot. I didn't have space for it and I didn't want to make space for it in the garden because I don't I don't ever need this many cherry tomatoes. Um, but you know, it's no point in killing it. I might as well just let it get what I get what I can off of it. Um, but I did want to show you guys this. This is what happens when you're not coming out every day during the summer. This pu cucumber is about four times the size that it should be. It's going to be very, very, very bitter. So I won't really be able to eat it, but I'll look up online if there are any recipes that I can do with overripe cucumbers. But at this point, I think this is when you start saving seeds from them. So that was a little bit disappointing when I noticed that. I'll just try to be more careful about coming out and checking these more often. 
All right, I had to run inside to steal one of my daughter's play bowls because I ran out of baskets. And this tree behind me, um, there are two peach trees here, but the one on the left, I don't know what it is in the video, um, but this one on this side has pretty much fully ripened. I did the big harvest last week, um, but there are still a few more hanging on the tree and all week, Again, I've been at work, so I haven't been able to deal with it. But all week, I've been coming out and finding this. They fall off the tree, they roll down the hill, and if I don't catch them in time, they are covered in ants. So I can't eat this little peach because, well, yeah, it's ants and it looks like also slugs got all over it. So I'm gonna basically just try to pull every last peach off this tree. All right, I did not think there would be that many, and there clearly are. Ooh, and they're super ripe. Oh, look at that peach. I gotta be careful because they're so soft. Okay, it's really hard for me to look in here, but I think I got all of the ones on the top side of this tree. I can see some red peeking out down there. So I gotta get down there on the other side of the hill and try to grab those. Well, I think I severely underestimated the size of the bowl I need because I'm seeing at least 10 more. All right, I went and got another basket. And I just wanted to show you guys the other tree. We're gonna get a handful of these soon enough. And these zucchinis always sneak up on me. So, I got one here. Right Starting to flower, so I'm gonna go grab some of this too. The last thing we need to do is harvest these potatoes, which I normally would dump out into a wheelbarrow, but that's kind of hard when I've got my little garden helper here. So we're just going to dig. And I don't know, they they died back really fast, so I'm not sure what to expect, to be honest. Okay, well, hey, there's one potato. <laughs> well, this is not looking well, is it? All right, you find any potatoes, they go in here. Oh, uh, yes. You gotta put it back in? Can you say potato? Potato. Potato. That works. I love this one. Oh, gotta keep them in the bucket. Which uh, one is this? More potato. More potatoes. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, I keep finding more. Looks like we're having potatoes for dinner, huh? I don't think we're gonna find any more, okay? Okay. Okay, <laughs> we're almost done and ready to go inside, but we got a decent little harvest I was not expecting. That was way more tomatoes and then one I accidentally pulled off green than I was anticipating. So I think we'll be able to make something good out of these or if I run out of time with the little helper, I will just throw these in the freezer and turn them into something later. We've got two whole things of peaches here, which I'm really, really impressed with because I was expecting to get like, I don't know, 10 peaches. That's way more than 10 peaches. And I hope I didn't leave any on the tree. And then these are the potatoes. I wasn't expecting to get much either. And they're all like, like that's the average size, but I think tonight I will just roast all of these and that'll be a good side dish. And then all up here, we've got the green onions, the carrots, the basil, it's buried in here, the um, that one sad cucumber and our two zucchinis, which will probably be turned into zucchini bread soon. So all in all, a really great harvest. Let me know what you guys are getting out of the garden right now. It's 
the last weekend in June. So 4th of July is this next week. Um, so let me know what you guys typically get out of the garden this time of the year. I think this time last year I was getting tomatillos already and I'm not this year. So um, I know everybody's in a different growing zone. My sister's been getting tomatoes for a long time um, and she's in kind of, kind of South Texas. And this is my first real round of tomatoes. I've really only gotten two or three before now. So anyway, I just wanna thank you guys so much for joining me in the garden. <laughs> Even when I have a little bit of extra help, I just appreciate you hanging out with me and um, enjoying the harvest with me. And if you're more interested in, or if you're interested in seeing more videos like this, um, I do monthly videos to kind of keep up with everything um, that my garden is doing. And then, and then I do occasional videos um, just like this, just showing my harvest or whatever is going on at the time. I'm gonna do a video showing my peach trees um, and you know how much I got out of those, but I will wait until the second tree um, ripens and then my blue and my apples too. So I just, um, want to share what I'm doing with you guys and keep myself accountable to keep learning and growing. So I hope you guys have a wonderful um, start to summer and I'll see you on the next video. Bye.